It's the broken rail yard. All right, let's see what we got here. Nobody gets stuck. Yes. I remember this. And you have a lot of time, but uh, there's a lot of just bouncing around, if I recall correctly. I do really like this level because it can't really get stuck and like it says I'm looking and it's just it's a little big, right? It's kinda like a rink, it's too big, but other than that, not bad. Nothing much to see here. Nothing up the sleeve. Presto. There are more chips than you can actually get. That's okay. <clears throat> That's okay. Slide over here. Give me a moment. All right. Maybe I can uh, not take an hour and a half to do this. Quite straightforward level. I remember in voting, this uh, took me a long time to finish just because I'm not that good with this kind of thing. But once you realize that you don't have to get all of these chips, you just have to get the ones that you can get, it becomes a whole lot simpler. Like those two right there. Inaccessible. So you go, okay. Well, never mind then. Never mind. So, I feel like this is slightly better than Black Luster Soldier, but not a lot. It's a little too repetitive. Um, so, yeah, I know most of you don't know what the Black Luster Soldier is. That's one of my terrible levels. I am determined, though, to make a better level. One of these days, you'll actually get built for my stuff. So lately, I've been just failing to make good levels, because I'm good at failing. All right. Where are we at? I have a couple dozen left or so. Some sort of a pattern to the nightmare. Not really sure why I can't do this any faster. I suppose there's a <coughs> fabulous, you know, optimizer path to this thing. Well, that was kind of fun. down to the end, it's really a matter of figuring out, well, what, where did I not go that I should have gone, because I should have gotten all the chips, but I haven't. So what did I do wrong? What have I got to do?
And that takes care of that. Level 62. Sozy. By H2O again. Okay, I'm starting the water so we don't go to the right. I will die. Right. If we go to the right and we really have a blue key. Okay. What are we supposed to do with this blue key? Did it run? Man, it's a long level. And that's the end. So something goes on here that I don't know about. <coughs> right, there's some trick here that I'm not catching. Do I need to just kind of... Oh, I see. <coughs> Got me a doppelganger. Now, does a doppelganger die? No, okay. So... Oh, I see. You can see what's going on because there's two of them. Now, what do I need him to do exactly? Probably go that way. Yeah. All right. Now what? Oh. Oh, dear. Okay. <clears throat> so, that's the problem. Okay, so... more a matter of figuring out exactly what we need to do here. First part wasn't too bad. Now I need to be a little more careful this time to figure out what to do with this dude. I need him to sit on the... Oh, that didn't work. I need to direct him to the green button, I'm pretty sure. Sure, make the first part easy. Get my overconfidence going, and then... there. Alright, now if I can get out of here at the right time. There we go. Actually, it did pretty well there. Now, okay, we got another one now. <clears throat> what do we want him to do? Probably something similar, right? Probably more complicated, but the same idea. Yeah, there's a there's a gray button. Got to get him over to the gray button. So I do that how? This that helped. Now he's near the gray button. Is he gonna hit the gray button? Oh, good. So that got him to the gray button. Which allows me to get through this mess. Now. Oh, yellow tank. Yellow tank is going to do what for me? Yellow tank is going to push that last button for me? Alright, so... This is an interesting idea. Oh. Carefully now. Now I need him to go two more to the right and then down a couple. I get him to go down. One, two, three. That's up. I want him to go down. How do I get him? Oh, go back to the right one. I guess you gotta come over here. Careful now. One, two, three, four. There we go! 
Well, that was kind of fun. Alright, that's level 62. Level 62 is Swivel Tomb. Oh, already the word Swivel made me go, oh no. So, Swivel Tombs. So, I guess we have Swivel Doors we have to deal with. Um, yeah. What does button do? Oh. Interesting. I need this to be facing this way, I think. No, that was not right. Now I can get around it by doing that. Alright. Okay, so far so not bad. Bonus that way. I'm not going to worry about the bonus just yet. i got to not die here. So let's see here. Oh, interesting. Oof. Alright, so what do I want to do? I think I want to... Get over there and use the yellow key to get a chip, yes? And what does the bowling ball do for me? I have no idea. Um, oh, <laughs> didn't see the swivel door, of course. The bowling ball should, in theory, open up my swivel door for me. Yeah, alright. Coolness. Oh no, there's three of them. Okay. I have a really hard time seeing them. I really should look at a different... Uh, set maybe so that I don't <coughs> keep not seeing things it's pretty annoying when you don't see things oops didn't act when the iron was hot yeah the way the kick locks your swivel doors is kind of funky Little bit funky. Oh man, that was weird. Not sure why that didn't work. Swivel doors are funky. Maybe if I take the bowling ball and roll it down from here, it'll open up all the doors. Yeah, I guess that was the idea in the first place. Yeah. Now I guess you just go back to the beginning again to get away from these dudes. That works. Yeah, bonus that way. I guess we'll go look at the bus, but what's... Oh man, no thank you. <clears throat> I'm having enough trouble finishing this level without trying to do that. Okay... I guess I can get those boots. This chip, I can't go through with these boots. What's the blue tank gonna do? It's gonna open up a couple doors for me. Oh, interesting. But it didn't open up this door, which is what I needed. So I have to drop the boots in order to go down here and see what's going on. Where am I trying to go? Alright, there's some chips in here.
Oh, this looks really familiar. Can I move this block? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, now that's interesting. I did learn something there. Okay. This looks extremely familiar. Now, where oh, how do I get... Oh, those are fire boots. So I need to get those fire boots wherever I do that. And take them through the fire. And not die in here. There's one more chip. Somewhere. And there's a bowling ball I can't quite get to. And now you get to the bowling ball. I bet the, I bet the tanks help you somehow. Right? Yeah. Okay, now I've got a bowling ball. And what pray tell am I supposed to do here? There's my chip. Uh, I have no idea. Oops, dropped in the water. Okay. I was actually doing pretty well on this stupid level for a while there. Um, do -do 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 Alright, so this is a pretty interesting study in swivels. No challenge for dupes like me, but interesting nonetheless. Oh. They, uh, say I'm crazy. What do they know? They know a lot. I did watch JB's 51 to 60 video and I was amazed how much he was stuck on the one level where if he had just pushed the block up he would have been fine. Uh, but he never did see that. If you watch his versus mine, you'll see I figured that out, but once a, once in a rare while when I get it before JB does. Um, Alright. Fire boots are useful. Alright, you gotta do this. And that allows you to do what? Oh. You gotta do this first. Then you can do this. Alright, and that allows you to go around the horn. I get the idea now. You come around, grab the fire boots, you do this part. Alright. Push the blue button and hope that can you get to there we go open ball yeah it's also interesting that directional blocks don't require you to they don't turn into dirt they just turn into floor when you get when they hit water interesting difference the dirt blocks make dirt. So, now this last piece, I did it wrong the last time. What is it I want to do? I want to leave it so all of those are facing so I can't go through them, right? They're supposed to block off. How do I do that? Um... Because this won't do it. I need them to go the other way. Do I run the uh, block through there? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to pause this and we will come back.
All right. <clears throat> now that that's pretty good set eruptions are done, let's unpause and see where I was at. Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out what to do with this bowling ball to make all of these point the other way. Um, there should be a way, right? For example, if I did, I did this, right? No. I need to be able to get back over. Because if I just did that, I just went to the right and up and then came around, that wouldn't help me. What I need is for be able to go for under and through. If they were like this, what happens if I roll the bowling ball this way? Oops. That almost worked because I screwed that one up, but. What I want is it for it to go like this, right? That allows me to do that. Here's the problem. All right now I'm stuck. Uh, I was on the right track. Okay, you ridiculous level. Let's figure you out. Okay, that is not the way. Well, my keyboard moved, and that's making me mess up my moves. All right, let's uh, fix the keyboard. I really need to get myself like a little arrow key thing, where I can just do the arrow keys the way I want to do them. Balls. I do like bowling balls. They do fun stuff. I have almost figured all of this out. Thanks, our friends, not food. It's funny when you play a level a bunch of times, you keep doing the same things, and that part becomes old hat. Here, how do I figure out the next part? I feel like every level in CC2, including this set, is a tutorial of some sort. This is how you do this, and this is how you do this, and this is how you do this. <coughs> At some point, you would think this puzzle may be small, but don't attempt without a bowling ball. Oh, so the bowling ball is for the end. So I should be able to do the other part without the bowling ball. This is more of a logic puzzle. I need those all to be pointing the other way than they are. And I can't do it without... Huh. Without getting stuck, right? How do you... 
How in the world do you do that? What you have to do is Okay, you get stuck. Oh, you only need this one to point the other way. So you can do that by going through. Right? Oh, I did it wrong though. Okay, so I think I got the idea now, but I'm stuck. Alright, let's try one more time. This cannot be as hard as I'm making it. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Let's all swivel. Swivel again, like we did last summer. Now if you watch that gray button carefully, or does you get a feel for how this works, but frankly, I'm just as confused as I can be. I have a feeling as the levels go on and get more difficult, I'm going to be more confused and more confused. And that's just the way it's going to be. Don't like confusion, don't watch. What's this confusion? My side delusion. I in anyway. All right. I'm starting to get a handle on this particular problem here. I need that one to go that way, but I need these two. How am I going to do that? I need these three to point that way so I can get through them. But I need that first one to point the other way. Right? Oh, goodness, I don't get it. Because the second you go through there, you're done. Right? If I'm here... Then I'm stuck and I can't get through. No way out. All right, I don't want to go in the water. Need the bowling ball for the end. There's some trick here, isn't there? If I were to roll the bowling ball up, right? You can't even do that. Alright, it gets me this far and no further. <coughs> There's another solution. That's what I get from making fun of JB. Okay. Come on, brain. This isn't that impossible. There's a trick here somewhere.
The rest of this level is fairly straightforward except for the whatever the end game puzzle is that I and that bonus puzzle, which I might have been unmasked with the bonus, but to me at the end requires the bowling ball, so that means I have to be able to do the <coughs> other puzzles without it. Blocks through squirrels is kind of weird. So I got to get over to figure this out. Now let's just think about this logically. No, I can't. Swivels aren't logical. You, where you pop out, it's going to be over. Then you're stuck, right? I, I don't get it. I mean, I can do this. I can do this, but that's all I can do. Can't get any further. I'm stuck. Oh, I don't understand. There's a trick. All right, I'm gonna figure this off on my own and come back. Okay, proof positive that I'm an idiot. I had to do something to solve this that uh, I haven't done in a long time. I had to ghost the level. Well, not the whole level, just that little piece of it. So now I know what to do in that particular situation. I still don't know how the end of the level is. But if I don't mess up too badly here, I should be able to uh, get at least that far. Sometimes I just uh, don't know how I can be so dumb. All right. Then I realize, yeah, you're always that dumb. Okay, here we go. Bonus. Yes, tanks flip little doors for you. It's so convenient. It means nice with little doors. Don't take up a whole block like thin walls used to. Alright, so why I couldn't figure this out while it was recorded earlier is beyond me. But that's what the intent was. Let's just make them all go that way. Now what's the end here? <coughs> How do I not have all the chips? What did I forget? Oh, there's chips over here. Oh yeah, chips. Ch -ch -ch chips around and get the chips. Okay. Now, oh! A very interesting puzzle. I wonder how you solve this. So, yeah, I don't have any bonuses. The X2 does no good at all. Um, oh man, I 
have no idea how to solve this either. I'm stuck. Uh, bowling ball? No. But I bet you do use the bowling ball to solve this. Okay. One more time through. Those of you who have stood through this, thanks for hanging in there. Watch me be a doofus. There we go. What the? You were open. What happened? Push one too many times? Okay. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Taking my life in my hands here. Part of the problem when you have figured out the level is you just kind of you mess up it to go back through the whole level. And that's kind of tedious. Not that I mind that much. I do like Chip's Challenge. It's not to get over the negative here. Let's make sure we get all of the chips prior to I go to the end. I still think I have to step on these blocks to make them make floor, which is not true. Go, 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 go. I like to scramble the fairies. Okay. Solved all of that. It must be that you use the bowling ball to open a way back out. Alright. That's got to be that the trick of things. It must be that you use the bowling ball, which I don't have. Oh, how do I not have the bowling ball? Okay. The pain, the pain, the incredible pain of being dumb. Okay. wasn't so much a hurry to try to get through there. I might actually watch and see what the gray button does. I'm assuming it's uh, changing the swivel somehow, so that's where you're getting the short and long bounces. Reminds me of having balls bounce each other and change their timing. Oh, there's a bonus in there. Where you get that? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I might be able to get that bonus. If I uh, am careful. And remember that it's there. Okay, since I have fire boots. Yeah, so... Okay, if I try to get this bonus, am I locked out? No, I just uh, made my life more difficult. I have to go back and do things again. All right. No, actually, I'm locked out. Fabulous. All right, don't do that bonus. Man. So much challenging stuff in this level. This is only level 63? Oh, this is going to get ugly by 200. You know it is. You know it's just going to be a nightmare. Okay. I'll wait for the insanity.
do not try to get this bonus or that bonus or any bonus. It's just making the nightmare longer. Boink, boink, boink. They all go boink. Let's do the thing that's way easier than I thought it was. And then I need the bowling ball. Let's not forget that this time. And... Let's see now. We're going to use the bowling ball to open up a path for us, right? That's the idea. First we push this block through. Here we're going to go out that way. So we need to push the bowling ball through there. Aha! Yes. And we have completed the level. Finally. Alright, 63 is down the tubes. And 64 is going to be Flowers of Power by JB. Alright, so I'm not going to try that right now. I'm going to give myself a break, and I'll be back. Alright, I know I'm pushing my luck, but we're going to try Flowers of Power and see if I can get through it in a couple of tries. What we got here? We got Belinda with some red keys and some fireballs. Or boxes, whatever. Those are annoying. Yeah, super annoying. Okay, there's going to be some specific places you can stand and some you can't stand. And of course, the keys will be in places where you can't stand. I can't stand it! Man, it reminds me of fireflies. Fireboxes on fire. I hate it. Eat fireballs in fire because they have a hard time seeing them. Not quite so bad, but still yellow on yellow. I know I can stand. Not there. Where can I stand? There's no safe place to stand. Wow, that's super duper annoying. What are you doing to me, JB? Yeah. Yeah, that's super annoying. All right, maybe I should go through uh, teleport. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. That's fantastic. All right. All right, you've broken the basic uh, don't stand, don't stay in one place or you'll die rule. Yeah, how are you supposed to... Uh, that's... That's just mean. Oh, man. That is just mean. I mean, yeah, I can do it, but man, that's rough. Red was up, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, I have time, but I don't like that. Okay, I got three red keys. Let's open these puppies up. Now, what do I want to do here? Two green keys. Two yellow keys. Um, give me two blue keys. All right. Hmm. Which all the way to give me some boots. 
Fire Boots to help. Yeah. Um, I have Fire Boots and Flippers. Now what do I do? No idea. Absolutely no idea. Okay. Sure, a lot of things you can't get into. Oh, there is a, uh... Oh, thanks. This is just a nasty little level. Who voted for this? You should be shot. I knew I was pushing my luck trying to play this level today. Alright. <clears throat> this might just be a... Hey, I tried this level and it sucked. Well, it doesn't really suck. It's me that sucks. Alright. Come on. Come on. All of that for fire boots. Watch your step when making this teleport jump. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, there's just nothing interesting going on there. There are more bombs. And there are blocks. So this is not going to go well. Is there block slapping required here? I don't think you can do block slapping like that, can you? No. Yeah, it's just not, not gonna happen the way it should happen. Alright, let's try going back. Yeah, kaboom. This is a just a nightmare. Okay, let's uh, take a break and come back later. Alright, I think I got this. And sorry to say, or sad to say, I had to revert to some CC1 ghosting to figure it out. Basically, I wondered why this thing reminded me of Everybody Get Dangerous. This is almost a CC1 level. <coughs> Let's try that again without drowning. There is so much here that it's just basic <coughs> with the minor, you know, yellow key stuff and yellow the yellow um, doors and then the yellow tanks aren't even doing anything as far as I can tell. Alright. Have to go here and there. Now. <clears throat> the trick that I couldn't figure out before is actually quite simple. There we go. Now I will be able to get everything required. Can't believe it took me that long to figure this out. Alright. Now if I can just not die some stupid way. At least you can kind of see what's going on over there, so less likely that you'll die in some stupid way paying attention. Man, <clears throat> I know this is supposed to be just a challenge, but sometimes I just feel like I'm mentally challenged by own self. Uh, okay. Alright, um, need to be Melinda for some of this, yeah, the chip for example, that only Melinda can get, oh goodness, well, 
I was not being, <coughs> I was being dangerous. Everybody be dangerous. Perhaps not a cell developer would perform the solution. That sounds like me. I do kind of like the way that the doors and the keys work, except you end up leaving one more green door than expected. Oh, okay. This is getting dumb now. I feel like my fingers are too tired to do this. Come on, fingers. It ain't that bad. You can do it. For a while, and you be me. Okay. I'll clear out all the dirt, even though it's not really necessary, just the one dirt is. out every time. I did not make it easy on myself. Switching between Chip and Melinda thing can get a little old, but that's not too bad this time. All right, that is all the chips, and I am out of here. I imagine there's a bonus somewhere I couldn't find. But anyway, that's level 64, and man, I'm exhausted. Level 65 will be Left Behind Again by Jeffrey. Until next time, there we go.